In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using Coin Manage Deluxe. Now here we have the main screen after you've installed the demo version. So you'll see a sample record if you've, if you've downloaded and installed the demo. If you've actually purchased the program without running the demo, you'll see basically an empty screen with no samples whatsoever. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete the sample. To do that, I can just click on it and select the delete button from the toolbar. Uh, there's another way I can just right mouse click on the record and select delete from the pop-up menu, which is what I'm going to do. Now note that after you've deleted any coins from inventory, they get placed in the deleted coins folder and they stay there until you uh, select actions, empty deleted coins folder. The reason for that is if you've accidentally deleted a coin, you can click on the deleted coins folder and basically just drag it back into a, one of the collections. Uh, but in this case, I'm happy with the, with the deletion. So let me click on my collection and I'm going to show you how to inventory your first coin. Um, basically you just click on the add coins button here. And now I presented base basically with the list or the database that ships with the program. Um, in the case of coin Manage deluxe, you'll see coins from various countries. Uh, I'm going to inventory a United States 25 cent standing Liberty quarter. So I just click on standing Liberty quarter and uh, I, I get a list of all the varieties for that particular type. Now, once I've done that, I can just select the variety I am wishing to inventory. And once I've selected it, I'm going to see a list of all the conditions and values for that, the, the coin in that particular condition. Uh, I can just enter, I can just click on the condition slash value and it's going to enter that information into the condition edit box and the value as well. Uh, I can override the value. All I have to do is just simply just type in a new value. Uh, but in this case, I'll accept the value and I'm going to click OK. Once I've done that, you'll see the information for the first coin has been entered. To edit the coin, I simply double click on it. And let's say I just want to enter the cost. OK, and you'll see that now the program shows the cost. Um, how do you enter multiple coins at a time? Obviously, if you have thousands of coins in your collection, you don't want to keep going in and out of the Add Coin dialog. And what you can do is just click on Add Coins again. And uh, let's say I want to enter five more Standing Liberty Quarters. What I do is I click on the, on the first uh, entry that I want to add. And then I'm going to hold down, down the Control key. And once I do that, it basically enters multiple selection modes. So I can now enter or select multiple coins. So keeping the control key down, I've, I've um, selected four Standing Liberty Quarters. Click OK and you'll see they'll all be entered. Now how will I run reports using CoinManage? To do this, we have under the, the reporting menu, we have a series of reports that ship with the program and if you want to run a report on all the coins you've entered you can just select one of the the, the, the uh, templates that we have provided so for example i want to run a report on coins group by type i can just click on that and now i'm going to see a print options window under this window i can uh, select where the report is going to go um, you don't have to accept the default of printer. There's a drop down here and it has many different uh, entries. For example, if I want to just preview the report to see what it's going to look like before um, printing it out, I can select preview. We've got export to Adobe PDF format and Microsoft Excel, HTML, etc. I'm just going to preview, click start. And so I'm going to see what the report's going to look like. and. Uh, here we go. It's going to show all the coins that I've entered so far. Let me close that. Now, note that you can also run a report on various. Let's say I just want to run a report on, um, on all, all, only the quarters, 25 cents uh, in a particular collection. I can just right mouse click. So everything's kind of context sensitive. So I'm going to right mouse click and select one of the reports from the pop up menu. So that's how to run reports. Now, let me note that uh, under the help menu, um, 
we have customers ask, uh, where's the uh, manual for the program? We, sh we uh, install a, the manual in PDF format when you install the program. To see it on your screen, you just select Help, Getting Started Guide PDF Format. And as you can see here, it shows up in your default browser in this case, and you can look at it that way. Uh, under the Help menu as well, uh, you can go to our forum support page. You can buy a, a printed manual if you wish as well. Okay, I hope for that. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Oh, by the way, uh, if you subscribe to this YouTube channel, the Coin Manage channel, uh, there's many additional videos, uh, more advanced uh, videos as well to help you uh, continue using their program. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.